Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we're going to talk about Paolo Dybalo and Romelu Lukaku. I know there's been some news regarding Bruno Fernandes, Di Marzio saying that it's it's close. Um, personally, I think that I'll probably cover that tomorrow morning um, rather than today, just to see if, just to give things a bit more time to sort of develop, because we've obviously been there with the Bruno Fernandes deal, imminent, Ham Maguire deal, imminent, all these different types sort of things. You know, so I just want to give it just a bit more time to see um, how that new story develops. And then we'll probably have a video on the potential of Bruno Fernandes to be signed with Manchester United fairly soon. I think the deal will be done, but I just want just a bit more information before I report it. So instead, I want to talk about this latest news about Paulo Dybala basically being offered in a swap deal for Romelu Lukaku. Um, so basically, this has actually been carried by the UK, the UK press now. We've seen The Guardian, The Mirror, The Sun etc. that actually uh, Paolo Dybala's agent is in England for discussion with United um, as to whether or not the player will just then decide whether he wants to join a Premier League club. Um, yes, his preference was to, to last in to stay at Juventus, um, but potentially an attractive offer um, may change his mind. Um, Juventus um, have, and they've just almost come into space because as we talked about before, Inter Milan have, were, were the predominant ones uh, that were interested in Lukaku, but it seems that Juventus um, are wanting some um, competition for Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, and basically, Matsusari, um, this is according to um, Sky Sports Italia, this is where news is coming in, so this is from Sky Sports, Sky Sports Italia, um, saying they made a strong offer. Now, the strong offer appears to be Dybala plus 10 million um, for Romelu Lukaku. Um, now, I don't know what you think about this, guys. Obviously, I, I had my suspicions that I didn't really think that Inter Milan were going to really, um, you know, increase their bid, to be honest. I just don't think they were. I don't think Inter Milan have the financial um, capability to, um, to, to give United what they need. And it presume, I assume that Icardi isn't going anywhere or, he's, or he, he, that he's not being involved. I don't think Inter Milan have the money to be able to get a look up, which is going to frustrate Antonio Conte. Um, but there we go. Juventus, on the other hand, are another matter entirely. Juventus do have the funds to be able to buy out Lukaku, probably even outright, let alone giving Paolo Dybala as a swap. So I think this is one of those watch this space kind of deal things. I think that as we've clearly seen um, in the last few weeks, Romelu Lukaku clearly wants to leave. So from a, from a factual point of view, it's obvious that Lukaku wants to leave Manchester United. He hasn't been involved in the preseason at all. And so it's obvious that he wants to leave, and that there is that that there is this ongoing, um, ongoing his ongoing push to leave the club. So much so that obviously um, he he's posted on obviously his Instagram with his agent, and obviously begging the United Hockey to lower his his release clause. This is the thing. Um, so that is not doubt. That is not rumor. That is fact. Um, the the fact the the rumors are around whether who or whether or not. Um, Juventus or Inter Milan for that matter can actually get the deal over line whether they're prepared to pay the right amount whether United will actually be able will accept the offer now as far as I'm concerned at this point you know both to, 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 to make both parties happy sell the car get the ball in the question comes does the baller want to come to United now to be honest I would love the ball in United I would but the thing is is that I know for a fact well I believe, I know for a fact anyway, that the bar, if Dybala signs for United, it will be purely based on money. And Dybala's form over the last year or two has not been great. So you've got to ask United fans, do you really want another player who isn't really an outright forward? It's not really replacing the car with a like for like, but do you really want another player who's really, who, you know, I mean, there's even reports saying that he's he wants pay equivalent to United's higher earners. You know, there's no way that the baller should be coming to United and getting paid the same as David De Gea, although I know obviously Alexis Sanchez has done jack all. Um, but yeah, you know, let me know what you think, guys. Like, it's 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 just interesting. Um, I just think that, especially with the transfer window closing, we need to not be desperate. Um, and the worst thing I can see is we signing all these players, giving them um, shed loads of money, and they just flop. Because then, I know this might be controversial, but essentially you, you put yourself in a, in a worse situation than you have um, 
in the last couple of seasons because you basically will have players who aren't playing for the club or on high wages who like Alexis Sanchez or whatever that aren't interested but you can't move them on because their wages are too expensive because you give them a contract and so this is the, this is the problem we need to be careful of. we need to be if we're going to sign a big player we need they have to be able to perform we have to know they're going to be able to perform because the worst thing is a Sanchez situation where you have a player stuck at a club that's not playing. Sanchez hasn't even been involved in preseason. Although, yeah, he had the Copa uh, uh, de Merrick, so I get that. Um, but uh, do we expect he's going to be involved? I, I don't think so. You know, so the worst situation is we have that. We have the player we're not involved. And then, you, you know, you end up with, um, you know, freaking, um, you know, um, you know, players on, on, on tons of high, or high wages who we can't offload or we sell to the clubs because reasons. Um, so just bear that in mind, guys, I think with Paolo Dybala. Um, I know that sounds a bit sour. Um, I think at this stage I would take him. Um, he, I mean, he, he has performed well. I think he's been issues at Juve. Um, but um, I just feel that if if he generally wants to come, it's fine. If we can offer him a good contract, fine. But if it is one of those sort of, you know, um, ridiculous, you must pay me £400,000 a week like Alexis Sanchez type of sort of thing, otherwise I'll look elsewhere. Then sod off, man, to be honest. You know, you know, get lost. That, that That's what I would say. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Um, follow us on Twitter, WeUnitedX. We are just past 700 subscribers. I'm so, so happy, guys. Let's set a new aim. 800 subscribers by the end of the week, guys. Hit that like button. Share and subscribe this video, smash that notification button, um, and subscribe um, to this channel. We really, we're, we're, I aimed a thousand, a thousand subscribers by by the end of the year, but to be honest, I think we'll probably get potentially get there by the end of August, if that. You know, so please, please support us. If you want to support us financially, there's a paper button on the top of the link. Really, really appreciate your support. Um, it takes a lot of time to make these videos, um, but anyway, just tell me what you think, guys. Comment in the section below. Um, do you think that would you take part of the bar for Lukaku at this at, at this at this time? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think we should actually pay the odds? Um, well, do you think we should pay the odds? But by that I mean um, give him a high contract, a, a 300, 400,000 pound a week contract if it means he comes. What do you think, guys? Watch this space because even though I think this is obviously still in the rumor category, um, I think there is legs to legs to this specifically because it is clearly obvious that Lukaku wants to go. And he has had interest from Italy, Juventus and in and, and um in some particular, who have been vocal. They've been vocal about the fact that they want to get Lukaku. So it's not fiction, they've been vocal about that the fact that they want to get Lukaku in the press, in the conferences, as the presidents. The issue is, and will come to the fact that will United sell or swap Lukaku for for for, for what Juventus or Inter Man are offering. Thanks for listening, guys. Again. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow us at We Are United X on Twitter. Hit that notification button. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.